In this video, we're going to talk about replacing the text captions from a question slide with something a little bit more visual. Okay, let's get started here. Uh, I got a question from Fadal. Fadal says uh, he wants to make a submit button in the Captivate questions show pictures uh, for feedback like a happy face or a sad face and he goes on further to say he obviously really wants to know how to do this because he put in another message saying that a lot of his uh, students that he teaches on how to use a ca uh, Adobe Captivate uh, a lot of them are designing e-learning materials for children so it's very appropriate for them so thanks Fadel I'll deal with that right now so here we go. Here's a pretty standard multiple choice question. Two questions. The first question is correct. The right, second question or second answer is incorrect. So let's just drag all the captions over to the scrap area so you can see them here. And um, so we have uh, three possible captions. One is you must answer the question before continuing. One is incorrect and one is correct. So I'm going to just uh, do two sad faces for the uh, you must answer questions and incorrect. And I'll do a happy face for correct. And it's really actually straightforward. In Adobe Captivate 9, the, uh, the captions for correct and incomplete and incorrect are in fact, for this theme anyway, I haven't checked them all, but for this theme, um, they are basically... Uh, shapes nothing special there's not actually a really special caption for these guys and uh, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the text because I won't need that and rather than choosing a fill color or a fill gradient I'm going to choose a fill image huh what do you think of that so we'll go in there we'll go into the actual fill itself and we can choose one of these defaults. Now there's no happy faces or, or frowny faces here, but you can import any image you want. Now I already have a couple of images in the library, so I'm just going to go and select one of those. This was the correct answer, so we'll do the smiley face. Um, oh, so I've got a tile effect here. Well, that might be the desired effect that you're looking for. Lots of smiley faces with lots of thumbs up. Uh, but if it's not, you can go into the fill area here and uncheck tile. And that will stretch it out to be the full size. And then, of course, all you need to do is resize the image so that it's appropriate for your course. Uh, now, the next thing we're going to do is do the same thing for the incorrect. So, again, we'll choose the image fill. We'll select the fill. We're going to uncheck tile right away this time. And we'll go to the library and choose sad face there he is so and we'll just resize him to be similar and we'll do the same thing for you must answer the question before continuing um, hopefully people will understand that so we'll do image uncheck tile and we'll choose the sad face yet again and just to make it easy I'm going to select the first one and then do this one and just use my alignment tools to resize to the same size. So there we go. So I can just place these all onto the stage. We'll uh, put them there and we'll test this and see how well this works. So we'll just preview from this slide and this should be fairly straightforward. So there it is. Let's do the wrong answer first. We'll just submit that. Oh, sad face. I forgot to get rid of the text on that one, but that's okay. We'll just delete the text off of that that shape and you'll, you'll be fine. Let's uh, try it once more. This time we'll preview it from uh, this slide and we'll choose the correct answer this time and hopefully get a different feedback image. There we go. So thumbs up, smiley face guy. Guys, if you like the videos that I'm producing for you, I encourage you to subscribe to my channel. And if you thought this video was useful, helpful, entertaining, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Just like this guy.